good? What's going on, man? It's your boy B, and we back in this mall with another video, man. Today, we got my man's Manu Bo. How good was Manu Bo actually? Now, I don't know much about no uh, Manu Bo. Um, he do seem like he was like one of the tallest players in the league from the thumbnail. So, hey, I don't know. But anyways, man, we're going to check this video out. Man, if you guys enjoy the video, enjoy the reaction, make sure y'all drop a like on the video. Subscribe. Click the bell icon. Turn the notifications on all so you don't miss no bangers from your boy B. With that being said, I hop straight into it, man. Let's get it. Big shout out to Nas Sports, was a famous man. basketball player and his name is written in the record books as the tallest NBA player ever. He was also a great humanitarian and a father of 10, including a current NBA rookie. But what was Manute doing before basketball? And did he really kill a lion? Watch the He was a father of 10, and did he really kill a He started the video off with all types of crazy stuff, man. As the tallest NBA player ever, he was also a great humanitarian and a father of 10 including a current a NBA rookie. But what was Manute doing before basketball? And did he really kill a lion? Watch the rest of the video to find out what he was like to be around, what's his real age, and how good Manute Bull actually was as a player. Let's get it, man. Some people start playing basketball because they saw it on TV. Some start playing it on the playgrounds in their neighborhoods. Some do it because they grew exceptionally tall, and it seems like a natural thing to do. The latter was the case with Manute Bol, who grew up in Sudan as a member of the Dinka tribe, who were on average the tallest human beings in the world. Manute's mom and sister were 6 feet 8, his wow. father was 6 10, and his grandfather was supposedly 7 feet 10 inches tall. Young Manute grew up without what? proper education, spending his time tending family's cattle, which was the prime currency in- Bro, like the women 6 8, men out there 6 10. 17 like, like it's that's crazy i can't even imagine being that tall man i'm currently like 6 1 man being 6 8 6 10 like come on man of course we playing basketball football too hey look hey look i'm trying out for a receiver or something value of the what would y'all what would y'all do if y'all was like that tall man if you was like 6 8 6 10 maybe 7 you know what i'm saying 7 foot like i like what would you do? Let me know in the comments, man. Let me know in the comments. I'm going to be down there showing love. Later in life, while he was working for the military, he started playing basketball on the military team because he was too tall for soccer, his primary choice. He was then discovered by Don Feely, a basketball coach who advised him to try to pursue basketball in the States. He sent Bull to Cleveland in 1982, where he was under the tutelage of Kevin Mackey, a head coach for the Cleveland State University. Mackey saw potential in Bull and started okay. preparing him to play for the university. Since nobody, including Manute himself, knew how old he was, Mackey gave him a birthday of October 16th, 1962. What? He didn't know they age? How do you not know how old he? From a different country, you know? Um. Wow. Is it on Google? Let's Google it, man. Let's hold on. Let's let's see if we can pull this up on Google or something, man. Hold on. Manu. Manu Bow Age. 47 years old. Oh, he passed away. Passed away in 2010. NBA. Born October the October the 16th, 1962. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Let me zoom in on it. Height 7'7, seven, seven, wingspan 8'6, 206 pounds. That's mad skinny for this height. I'm not even going to lie to you. Wow. 47 years old, man. Said Manu Bowl might have been 50 years old when he played. He was probably 40, 50 years old when he was playing in the NBA. Uh, Mikey added. So nobody really knows how old he really is, man. Nobody really knows how old he was. That's actually insane, man. Like, who's this guy's mother, bro? 
Since nobody, including Minute himself, maybe they didn't knew keep how up. old he was. Maybe they, let me not blame, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they didn't keep up with, like, the the year back then. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they didn't keep up with the year in, in his region back then, or his culture. You never know. Mackie gave him a birthday of October 16th, 1962, declaring him a 19-year-old so that he'd be eligible to play college basketball. <laughs> he believed that Bull was actually wow. much older and that he might have been well into his 30s. Every athletic door is open at 19. Every athletic door is closed when you're 35. Manute was probably 40 or 50 years old when he was playing in the NBA, Mackey said. Manute didn't know English at all back then and had struggled reading it, so he was unable to enroll at Cleveland State and never played a game there. Instead, he declared for the 1983 NBA draft, despite being a basketball novice and not knowing the language. However, his only asset, height, was still enough to get him picked. The San Diego Clippers took a chance on him in the fifth round of the 1983 NBA draft, 97th overall, but the NBA ruled the pick ineligible and made the pick invalid. Hey. After rejections from both the NBA and the NCAA, Bull started playing Division II basketball for Bridgeport University, where he averaged 22.5 points, 13.5 rebounds, and 7.1 blocks per game. Why did they deny him, bro? Like, why did they deny him, bro? After rejections from both the NBA and the NCAA, the Eagle Clippers ain't. took a chance on him in the fifth round of the 1983 NBA draft, 97th overall, but the NBA ruled the pick ineligible and made the pick ineligible. invalid. After rejections from both the NBA and the NCAA, Bull started playing Division II basketball for Bridgeport University, where he averaged 22.5 points, 13.5 rebounds, and 7.1 blocks per game. He became an attraction, and it was hard to find tickets to see him play. Soon enough, he got national publicity after his picture ended up in the newspapers. Even though he was still extremely raw and could have used a few more years of college basketball, he again declared for the draft so he'd be able to support his family back in Sudan. He got drafted 31st overall by the Washington Bullets, making him the first African-born player in the NBA and the tallest player ever. Bull became an instant sensation and one of the most popular players in the league. Every fan wanted a picture with a guy who was 7'7", and every reporter wanted to talk to him as well. And that's when the story of him killing a lion with a spear started. Even though that hasn't been officially confirmed, Bull admitted to a friend that he just made the story up when he was bored because they were eating up all of his words. Hey, if it's possible that somebody grew so tall, it's possible that he kills lions with spears. When it comes to basketball, Manute wasn't any good on offense, and he scored less than four know, points per game Kareem in his rookie season. Somebody grew so tall, it's possible that he kills lions with spears. When it comes to basketball, Manute. That's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. That's Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Wasn't any good on offense, Kill. and he scored less than four points per game in his rookie season. He wasn't very skilled and wasn't nearly powerful enough to deal with opponents who often outweighed him by 50 pounds or more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This mad skinny man for his for his height. If he like seven seven, but he should be wearing every bit at least about two, two fifty, two sixty. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was he was too skinny, man. He was man, he was he was way too skinny to be out there competing with them centers. Cause of course they gonna throw him at center. But like this Ash, this is this is crazy, bro. Like wow. So he was out there. I, I think I seen a Dr. J too in the video clip. He was Dr. J, Cream Dude Jabbar. You know what I'm saying? Probably played against Bill Russell as well, bro. Like this is actually crazy, man. Hey. It's per game in his rookie season. He wasn't very skilled and wasn't nearly powerful enough to deal with opponents who often outweighed him by 50 pounds or more. Despite being the tallest player ever, Manute was extremely skinny and weighed a little over 200 pounds. However, due to his freakish length and surprising agility, Bull was a defensive presence from the moment he stepped into the NBA. Yeah. He averaged a whopping five blocks per game in his rookie season, which is the second season highest block average in NBA history. Manute stayed in Washington for three years and made many headlines in magazine covers, even with a gradual reduction in playing Who's time. That? And made many. Oh, he's standing up on the basketball. I didn't even see the basketball. <laughs> I didn't even see the basketball. Like, yeah, he talking to him, Manute. Many headlines in magazine covers, even with a gradual reduction in playing time after his rookie year. 
Despite the novelty having worn off a bit, he remained a popular figure because his height and unusual built were so fascinating to many. It also helped that he learned English and became much more accessible to fans and adored by his teammates. After Washington, Bull spent two years with the Golden State Warriors and then the next three with the Philadelphia 76ers, where he developed a great relationship with Charles Barkley, whom he called Charlie. Charles Barkley once said that if everyone in the world was a minute bull, it's a world he'd want to live in because he's really smart and kind. That's Manute's up, frame and game remained That's relatively up. the same, rhyme not intended. He was still really thin and couldn't overpower anybody in the paint and made baskets mainly from putback dunks. On defense, he was still good, even though his blocking numbers started to decline. It was in Philadelphia where he played his last full season and that also where he had the most memory. What the? It was in Philadelphia where he played his last. Look at his shot. His shot was like, what? The four was insane. Even though his blocking numbers started to decline, it was in Philadelphia where he played his last full season and also where he had the most memorable game of his career. On March 3rd of 1993, against the Phoenix Suns, Manute Bull made six threes in one half, one shy of an NBA record, which was completely mind blowing considering Bro, he, he only made shoot? 10 threes in his previous three seasons combined. Who knows, if he practiced it more often, he could have been a stretch five before it was normal for centers five. to shoot threes. And stretch five would have also been the perfect nickname for him. Yeah. He stayed in the NBA for two more years and played sporadically for Miami and for all three of his former teams, Philadelphia, Washington, and Golden State, where he Lord. played his last NBA minutes. During his second stint in DC, he mentored George Murison, another 7-7 player, and they became the tallest pair of teammates ever. Over the course of his career, Bull averaged 2.6 wow, points. Wait, wait, wait. They were on the same team? Ah, uh, they're cheating, man. Imagine having two players well over seven, bro, seven foot, bro, and they on the same team. Like, who's coming in the paint? You're going to have to shoot. Pair of teammates ever. Over the course of his career, Bull averaged 2.6 points, 4.2 rebounds, 0.3 assists, and 3.3 blocks per game in 18.7 minutes on the court. His 2086 blocks stand at number 14 for most career blocks, and Bull is the only player to have more blocks than points scored, 1,599. To this day, he's still a synonym for height and length, and together with Murasan, remains the tallest player who has ever played an NBA game. His legacy is more cultural than basketball related, and he's always going to be known as a really tall person rather than a good basketball player. Yeah. However, despite having a small impact on the NBA court, he had a significant impact outside of it. Manute Bull was making constant efforts to improve the conditions in his native Sudan and gave almost all of his money to various organizations back home to help those in need. Bull established the Ring True Foundation for the fundraising of Sudanese refugees. He also played a part in stopping the civil war in Sudan and for building schools and promoting education. He wasn't a stranger to alcohol and gambling during his career. And because of that and his charity work, he soon ran out of money once his career was over. Still, like many hey, times before, man. his height and his name were assets he could always count on. That's the thing too, man, with the NBA player. We're gonna actually check out a vid too, dealing with NBA players like going broke or whatever, man. I added it to the list, but uh, yeah, they got to stack your cheese, man, because you never know what, uh, when life is going to hit you. You know what I'm saying? So I understand he was trying to take care of his people, take care of his country. You can't do it all, man. You can do, do what you can, but at the same time, still be able to, like, maintain, you know what I'm saying, so you can be able to take care of yourself, your family, you know what I'm saying. Longevity is everything, but, yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. And that's why he tried various promotional efforts to raise money. He signed a one-day contract with an ice hockey team, even what? though he couldn't skate. He also appeared as a horse racing jockey and as a boxer in celebrity boxing against former football player William the Refrigerator Perry. All money he earned went towards Sudanese refugees. And that's where the real legacy of the Manute Bowl remains. Manute, unfortunately, died in 2010 from kidney failure after spending time in Sudan helping those in need while he was severely ill. He gave his life away for his people, and seven months after he died, South Sudan was declared independent. A part of his legacy is also currently in the NBA, in the shape of his son, 
a 7-2 Bol Bol, who got drafted in 2019 by the Denver Nuggets. Bol Bol was much more skilled than his father, but similar. That's his son! Bo Bo. Wow, bro. Wow. That's crazy. I gotta watch that again. Hold on. South Sudan was declared independent. A part of his legacy is also currently in the NBA, in the shape of his son, a 7 2 Bowl Bowl who got drafted in 2019 by the Denver Nuggets. Bol Bol is much more skilled than his father, but similar to Manute, he is extremely tall and thin, albeit to a lesser degree than his dad. Since he hasn't yet played due to a foot injury, it remains to be seen if Bol Bol be a better player. Even though a 7'7 seven seven Manute wasn't the best at basketball, replicating his impact would be a tall mountain to climb, pun intended. How tall is this? They both, how tall is his son, though, bro? Oh, he said seven foot. Bo, bo. Seven two. So his son ain't as tall as his dad. And he's seven two. Bro, that's crazy to me, man. I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, Wow, man! Like this is generation right here, man. Hopefully, he hopefully he learned something from this as well. Like his dad playing in the league, and then hopefully he, like with the money aspect as well. Like this more skilled than his it's father. It's a blessing, but bro. Similar like, to Manute, he is extremely tall and thin, albeit to a lesser degree than his dad. Since he hasn't yet played due to a foot injury, it remains to be seen if Bull Bull be a better player. Even though a seven foot seven Manute wasn't the best at basketball. Replicating his impact would be a tall mountain to climb, pun intended. Fire video, man. Big shout out to Nonstop Sports, man. Once again, man, like I said, he got dope content over there. Y'all make sure y'all go over there, show him some love, make that sub button over there. As well as hit that sub button over here, man, because we ain't dropping but nothing but bangers. How good was Manu Bo, Ashley? Manu Bo was decent. He was decent, but... uh. What I'm gonna take, what I take for this video is he was the tallest player to ever play in the league alongside with the other guy. I can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, that's crazy, man. He got a son in the in the league. Hey, man, true blessing, true blessing. But anyways, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, man, y'all be sure to drop a like on the video, hit that sub button on the way out. Appreciate the love, support. Also, check out one of the videos on the screen. It's definitely a banger. I would miss it if I was you. We not too long ago reacted to that all-time best shooter from uh, every NBA team. Y'all got see right here, man. We we checked this vid out. So, fire vid. Hey, you want to expect the players they name. I know you got some of them wrong. I know you did because I did. Definitely check it out. I would miss it if I was you. i catch y'all next vid, man.